official sign I happen to discover They hold three fingers, fingers in the air And flash it to each other They send their greetings to you They sing them and they shout But if you meet a fixie Please don't let their secret out But if you meet a fixie Please don't let their secret out But if you meet a fixie Please don't let their secret out Modeling clay. All done. Silka, take a look. I've got my own mm, pack -a mat Now look at that, a pack -a mat made out of modeling clay. But this one's my own, and it looks just like a real one. Okay, you're right, it really does, Nolik. Simka, Nolik, what's up? Hi there, Fire. Wanna play some tag with me? I really wish I could play tag, but unlike you, I've got tons of work. Yeah, like what? Well, a bathroom hook fell down, Tom Thomas broke the lamp on his desk, the aquarium has a tube that's leaking, so go and play. I have to get a pack -a mat Oh, oh, oh. I wish I could play tag. Hold on. Nolik, you found a pack -a mat Uh-huh. Although I gotta say, it looks a little strange. That's cause it's... Let's fix everything before Simka. With your pack -a mat and my fixie board. This'll be great. <laughs> so where is that hook that fell down? All right. Nolik, get out some sticky stuff. From where? Obviously, from out of your pack -a mat But it isn't real. I made it out of modeling clay today. Out of clay? Well, it totally looks real. Long ago, back in the Stone Age, people learned how to use clay to make their dishes and sculptures. But the modeling clay that we use nowadays was only invented about a hundred years ago. Actually, modeling clay is just plain old clay with some ingredients added so it won't dry out and dyes are mixed in to make all of the different colors. There is just no end to all of the fun things you can make out of modeling clay. I got an idea. Go on, turn around. What are you doing? Grabbing glue out of your pack -a mat All right, get up here. Will it stick? Will. Let's go and fix the lamp. We can't fix this without a real pack -a mat Yours will work just fine. Tadish! So, what else did Simka have to fix? The aquarium! Hop on! Here, it's leaking at the joint. Yeah, this tube is gonna need a lot of modeling clay. Give me the rest of your pack of mat. Sure. And here's a souvenir. <sighs> they are all done. What's all done? <laughs> we already fixed everything. And what did you fix it with? Modeling clay. <laughs> modeling clay isn't gonna hold anything. Well, I say it will. Wanna bet? All right. What in the world is happening here? Flooding water! You just do as I tell you, without panicking. Did you know it's possible to make modeling clay in your own home? Just write down this recipe. You'll need a cup of flour, a half a cup of salt, and a half a cup of water. Now, mix the salt with the flour and add the water little by little. Mix it together really well. What are you saying? That it looks just like dough? Well, that's exactly what it is. It's just not for eating. It's way too salty. But you certainly can sculpt things out of it. If you want your modeling clay to be colorful, you can add food coloring or watercolors to it. That's it. Your modeling clay is ready to be sculpted. When you're finished, don't forget to let your figures dry in the sun. That way they'll get nice and hard and last you a very long time. Uh, uh, uh. 
<sighs> we almost didn't make it. And did you fix the lamp with that modeling clay? Uh-huh. And the hook, too. That was not a good idea. But it was really quick. Hey, that's true. That's why I want to give a medal to you. You're heroes. For real? Of course you are. And here it is, your medal. But it's made out of modeling clay. Your reward fits your heroic deed. The parrot. Adisa, do you want a cracker? Wow, Tom Thomas, who is that? Simka Nolik, this is Adisa. My dad brought him from Africa. <gasps> I can't believe it! You've got a real parrot! Can he talk? My dad said that he can, but I haven't heard him yet. Well, let's see if he can. Okay, say, Adisa's a good bird. No, he should learn my name. That would be awesome. Adisa, say, Nolik. That's my name. He doesn't want to talk about you, Nolik. Hmm, maybe he doesn't know how to speak human language. Check it out! It looks like he knows how to speak dog. No, Nolik. He doesn't know any languages at all. Then how can he talk? Parrots can repeat many of the different sounds that they hear. For instance, a dog's bark or the ring of the phone. Parrots can also mimic words or even whole sentences of human speech. But parrots don't understand the meaning of the words they are saying. They just repeat them like a music player. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. That's why you won't be able to have a real conversation with a parrot, even if it's the kind of parrot that can talk. All right, then let's have him repeat something. Hey, Adisa, Tadish, it's the Fixie's special sign. Say it, Fixie's had a special sign, Tadish. Oh, my dad is back. Let's hide, quickly. Hi there. Well, how's it going? You two talking to each other yet? I can't get him to say anything at all. You can't? Hmm. Adisa, how are you? Adisa's a good parrot. <gasps> he wouldn't say anything before. Eh, he's used to talking around me. Adisa's a good parrot. Nolik, that's my name. Hmm? Whose name is Nolik? Uh, no. He was saying he's got no luck in this game. What kind of game? <laughs> Let's hide! Quickly! <gasps> hide! Uh, we were playing hide-and-seek. <laughs> With the parrot? Uh-huh. <sighs> <sighs> Fixies have a special sign! <gasps> oh! Fixies have a special sign! Oh! What? Fixies? A special sign? Uh, no. It was physics. It's a special science. Uh, that's what we're studying about right now at school. You know, how special oh. physics is. Wow, that's impressive. Um, well, keep up the good work, son. The ability to repeat what humans say is not something unique to only parrots. Crows, starlings, and other animals can do it too. And besides animals, there are also machines that can repeat human speech. For instance, when you call somewhere and hear, leave your message after the tone, what you're hearing is a voicemail machine using a recorded voice to answer the call. Another example is the voice on trains and buses that is used to announce the stops. Those voices are usually recordings that are repeated over and over. Today, there are also artificial voices on computers, tablets, and smartphones that can read text and say it out loud. But even if a machine knows what you are saying, it can't know why you are saying it. Only people can figure that out. And Fixies, of course. Huh? Tom Thomas, you're a hero. You really wiggled your way out of that one. And Adisa, bad parrot. He almost gave up our secret. Be 
Be careful with that parrot. I get it. Adisa, listen, you. Forget everything we said. And don't ever say no word, okay? Yeah, nothing about the Fixies at all. Yeah, so if you meet a Fixie, please don't let their secret out. Got it? Oh, he's nodding. Looks like he understands. Let's get out of here so he'll forget about us as soon as possible. So if you meet a fixie, please, don't let their secret out. Tadish, Tadish, Tadish. The globe. Ready? Set? Go. <laughs> Again, I couldn't do it. I told you, there's just no way to hold on when the globe is turning that fast. But I know I can do it. Hmm. Give me that piece of rope there, would you? <sighs> now you can't throw me off. Spin it. Go on. Whoa! What you doing? Trying to learn a bit about the Earth's gravity? That's a globe, not the Earth. Well, a globe's a model of the Earth, isn't it? Hey, come on, Simka. The globe looks like a ball, but the Earth is flat. We walk on it. The Earth also looks like a ball. It's just a very, very big one. It's not true. If the Earth is really round like you say, then it would throw people right off of it, like the globe does to me. No, it's just that the Earth pulls everyone towards it. Are you sure? The planet that we live on, the Earth, is a huge sphere. The Earth revolves around the Sun, and the Moon revolves around the Earth. Do you know why they don't fly away from each other? It's because of a force called gravity that pulls all objects towards each other. The heavier the object, the stronger its pull. That's why people, rocks, air, and water get pulled towards the Earth instead of floating up into space. Thanks to gravity, we are able to walk on the Earth. Why doesn't the globe pull on me like the Earth does? Because this globe is very light. Compared to the Earth, this globe is like millions of billions of times lighter. Compared to the Earth, we're specks of dust. He's right. Look, a speck of dust. It sticks to the globe like we stick to the Earth. Oh, come on. It's just because no one's turning it. But the Earth's spinning and we stick to it. What? I just don't believe you. There's just no way the Earth is spinning. You've really got no idea how the days all turn into the nights, do you? Do too. It's because the sun goes up and then sets. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. Our sun's here and you're over there. On Earth. Is it dark, Nolik? It's dark. Then it's nighttime on your side. And here, it's day. All right. Now we'll turn the Earth. Hooray! Now it's daytime for me! And night for me over here! Ah! Oh, my side got dark again! And for me, it's a new day! All right, fine! You guys were right! I believe you! The Earth is spinning! <laughs> the Earth goes round and round like a tilted spinning top. And as it spins, the sun shines its light on whichever half of the Earth is facing it. And as the Earth makes one full turn, we watch how the night becomes day and the day becomes night again. It takes 24 hours for the Earth to make one full turn. But that's not all. The Earth is also traveling in space around the sun. It takes the Earth one year to make a full circle. As it goes along its way, the top and bottom of the Earth take turns being closer to the sun. That's because the Earth is tilted. When the top half is closer to the sun, it's summer there while at the very same time on the bottom half, it is winter. And when it is winter on the top half, it is summer on the bottom. Nolik, Nolik, where are you? I'm not sure, somewhere in Kazakhstan. The force of gravity is super strong around here. So go on, spin it. You're gonna fall off, Nolik. Don't worry, just do it. 
Go ahead and tilt it if you feel like it. Told ya! Ha! And you were sure I was gonna fall off this globe. That's strange. Nolan, come on over here. What for? You'll see in a second. I don't want to. You really don't want or you can't. Tom Thomas, take a look. <laughs> I get it. He stuck himself to the globe, didn't he? Yeah, with the chewing gum. Isn't it time to go? Uh-huh. And me! Well, what about me? Hey! Ah! Uh, you gotta help me! Don't leave me! Should we help him? But the pull of chewing gum is even stronger than the Earth's gravity. <laughs> 